welcome back to our Overture Facebook. Um, my name is Victoria, if you haven't met me through Facebook already. Uh, today I'm going to show you some different healthy smoothies for you to be able to use. Um, we just got word in Texas that the gyms will be opening shortly, so we got to start getting back on our health regimens because I know a lot of us have been sitting home and probably not eating the healthiest, so we need to rid our bodies of all of those toxins that we've been eating. It's also a good thing to um, eat your vitamins like this because um, it's going to be the best form for you and it's good for different things which I'm going to tell you about today such as um, inflammation, aging, um, kidneys, heart, all of that stuff. So as we go along we'll talk about all those different things that each um, type of fruit or vegetable can help you with. Uh, but we're going to do three smoothies today. So we'll start with the first one. Uh, the first one is called the Baby Ruth Strawberry Pineapple Banana Smoothie. Um, so, as you can imagine, we have strawberry, pineapple, um, and banana in this smoothie. So we'll get started. So I've got my blender here. Um, if you don't want a big fancy blender, this one here is a Black & Decker. Um, Black & Decker is usually pretty inexpensive, but you can also go to like Walmart and stuff um, and get there's one called Oyster, um, and you can actually get them where they're individual, so you only make one for yourself, you're not making a big batch like you would for this one. And I actually used to have one of those, um, now I make smoothies for two, so I don't have that anymore, but it actually is in a water bottle form, and you just blend it on there and then put the cap on it and go. So it's really, really cool, um, and it's easy if it's just one person or one person in the house is the only one doing the smoothies. So the first thing we're gonna do for this one is um, it asks for one cup of strawberries. So I've already um, cut them all up and divvied out one cup. So this is one cup of strawberries that we're gonna place in there. And strawberries are really, really good with um, you know vitamin C, uh, magnesium, B9, potassium, which are all really, really good things for your body. The next thing we're gonna put in is a half a cup of pineapple. So I bought this pre-cut at HEB um, because as you all know, pineapples are not the easiest to cut. If anybody has a tip for cutting pineapples easily, let me know because I love pineapple. Um, but this is half a cup of pineapple, so we'll put that in there. Pineapple is really good with vitamin C as well. Um, there's actually studies that show that pineapple actually has more vitamin C in it than oranges do, which oranges are always the go-to if you're starting to feel sick or you just need that extra immunity boost. Um, but I actually am not a huge orange fan or orange juice, so I actually go for the pineapple because it also could possibly have more um, vitamin C in it. So uh, the other thing too is interesting enough is pineapples in other cultures are actually considered a medicinal um, uh, fruit and it helps with uh, lowering inflammation so they use that before they go to any drugs um, and they see really really good results with that so if you have inflammation sitting on the couch for too long um, try doing some pineapple and that will probably help you out um, so the next thing that we're going to put in there is banana so it calls for a whole banana so i'm going to peel it and cut it so that it's easier for the blender to cut down. Um, but as everybody knows, bananas are very high in potassium. They are also really high in fiber, so if you have a lot of digestive issues, um, like I do, these are really good for digestion. There's also a couple of other things that we'll talk about um, that are really good with digestion that I use pretty much on a daily basis in my smoothies. Um, I'm a big smoothie person. I have a digestive disorder where it's hard for me to actually absorb the nutrients in my food. Um, so my doctor has me, you know, do just solid, fresh fruit um, almost on a daily basis so that I can make sure and get my vitamins. So that's one banana. And then it asks for two cups of orange juice. So um, a lot of the orange juice can be processed, so I would try and get as good as you can. Um, I got one with no pulp just so it doesn't make it all um, pulpy in here, but uh, this one's just the HEB. So like I said, we're going to do two cups of orange juice. So 
this is your liquid in here, and then I have something else that I'm gonna add in here to, whoops, help with that. And I tend to like my smoothies a little bit more liquidy than frozen. Um, so I tend to put a little bit more of like the liquid in it than usually it calls for. And I forgot napkins, so we're just gonna leave that there. Um, okay, so the next one is Greek yogurt. So um, if you wanna get flavored Greek yogurt, you're more than welcome to. It calls for plain, and you've got so many yummy things in here that you, uh, if you don't like plain yogurt, you won't taste it anyways. So this is a half a cup of just plain Greek yogurt. And then lastly, it's asking for half a cup of spinach. Um, so put as much spinach as you want to in there. This is really uh, high in vitamin K, which it actually promotes um, good bone health. So if you are at high risk for that, um, eat as much spinach as possible. Um, it has really, really high uh, vitamin K in there. All right, so that's it for the first one. So we'll go ahead and Get that all set in there. Sorry for the loudness. So I usually blend it up and then I put my ice um, in it just because you want to get some things blended up a little bit before you put that ice in. So we'll put our ice in here. And I typically do about a cup of ice. Like I said, I don't really, really love for it to be like to where I can't slurp it through my straw. But some people like that. So it's still really up to you how much ice you want to put in there. Um, I usually start with cup, about a cup though. just go in and prod it a little bit, make sure everything's good. And it looks like it got it. So like I said, mine's a little bit more liquidy. If you like the slushy flavor, then I would probably put in at least three cups of ice. Um, but again, that's totally up to you. So we are gonna dump this for our office to enjoy. All right, and that's the first one. So let me wash this and then we'll go into the next one. All right, we are back. So the next one that I have going for you, um, this one's called the Lovely Green Smoothie. So you can imagine it's got some greens in it as well. Um, so the first thing that we are going to put into this one is a cup of pineapple. So here's my cup of pineapple. Again, just got it pre-cut. If anybody has any suggestions on how to easily do pineapple, let me know. Uh, the next thing we have is two cups of spinach this time instead of one. So there's your greens. Again, this is really, really high in vitamin K. So uh, great for bone health. The next thing I have is grapes. So grapes have um, something in it. It's a type of antioxidant. It's called Resveratrol. Um, it's really, really good for aging. So it helps prevent aging. Um, so every woman and sometimes men love anti-aging. So grapes are really good for that. And then we're gonna do a cup and a half of orange juice for our liquid. 
Let's see if I can not spill it this time. And feel free to play with this. If you're not a huge orange juice fan, find some other liquid that you like. Um, coconut milk, almond milk, coconut water, all of those are really, really great liquids that you can um, use for that. Uh, the next thing is a banana. So, I'm again going to put an entire banana in there. I personally did not like bananas up until recently. The only way I could eat a banana is if I had peanut butter with it. But my doctor was like, you have to eat it. It's so good for your digestion. So I've learned to love bananas and lots of other things. All right, so that one's it. That's the easier one, um, or not the easier one, but the less um, ingredients that you need. So we will go ahead and kind of chop this up a little bit and then put ice into it. just so you can see how each type of um, amount can change it. So, okay, so that was three cups of ice. So see how different it is versus the one and the three. So that sounds pretty good. Usually you can hear if the ice is gone. So it sounds like it is. So you can see why it's called the green smoothie. It turns green with all of that spinach in there. It looks delicious. So here is our lovely green smoothie. You can see how the three cups of ice kind of made it a little bit more um, frozen but not too, too much. So there's that. Let me wash again and then we have one more to go. Awesome, so we are ready to go for the last one. So the last one is called the Youthful Glow Green Smoothie. Everyone wants to stay youthful, um, whether it's with activities like we have here at Overture, keeping everybody as active adults as long as possible, um, or, physically being useful. So this has lots of really good things. I'll tell you what um, each of them provide to you if I haven't told you already. Um, so the first thing we're gonna put in there is kale. I personally am not a kale fan. I think it tastes very, very bitter, but when I put it in a smoothie, it works for me. Um, and kale, again, is super duper good for your digestion. Um, so if you have any problems such as inflammation in your digestive tract, um, anything like that, it's really, really good for that. So we are gonna do two handfuls or two cups of kale. So I got um, kale from the grocery store and we picked it and chopped it and put it in here. So this is two cups of kale. The next thing we're gonna do is um, two cups of baby spinach. And remember, baby spinach is really good vitamin K, which is for your bones. So here's my spinach. Well, maybe. Awesome. 
so. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is our liquid's gonna actually be apple juice this time. Um, so we're gonna do two cups of apple juice. And it calls for 100% um, or, or apple juice, so just make sure you're not getting anything that's super duper high in um, like added sugar and stuff. All right, so two cups of apple juice, like I said. And apples are super good for your teeth. Um, I don't remember what the vitamin is that's really good for that, but it's always what I've been doing. All right, next we're going to do half of a cucumber. So this is like a medium-sized cucumber. I simply just cut it in half and then cut down the rest of the cucumber. Um, cucumbers actually, I'm sure most of you know, are very, very high in water. So they actually promote hydration in your body. Um, and so it kind of is like a good jump start. There's also benefits of doing like cucumber juice where you just basically juice the cucumber um, and that's really good for detoxing, flushing out your body, flushing out your digestive tract. Um, so that's what, where we're gonna get our hydration in this smoothie in particular. So here's my half cucumber all split up. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is um, we juiced an entire lemon. Um, so it does call for half, but lemon juice is always great to have in there. Um, and so we did the entire lemon. Our lemon was also kind of small. So if you have a larger lemon, you might wanna do half. It totally just depends on you. So here's our little bit of lemon juice. And then again, a banana. Good for potassium, good for fiber, great for digestion. If for some reason you're allergic to something that's in these smoothies, um, obviously do not eat it, do not put it in your smoothie. Um, however, you can go online and find lots of different substitutes. Um, just Google you know, potassium or fiber or something um, and it'll actually give you a list of all the different fruits and vegetables that are high in those specific vitamins, antioxidants, that sort of thing. So just Google it. It doesn't mean you have to take it out. It just means you have to replace it with something else. So um, last thing we're gonna do is ice. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the blender. hard to get through your straw um, or to be really cool because a lot of people also do smoothies like right after they work out um, which I do and that's how I absorb my protein powder that I use um, I just add that in there and then um, they like it to kind of be cool because uh, obviously they're cooling down so we'll put that much ice in there so basically I'm gonna fill it all the way up with ice is full, 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 full. Um, that's roughly five cups of ice in there. So here we go. Okay. 
here. Full, full. So you can hear it. It's a little bit more slushy, if that's what you like. Obviously, if I had a bigger um, blender, I probably would have put more ice in there to make it even more slushy. If for some reason it's like that, you can always separate the batches and then just put more ice if you have a small blender. Um, it's really, you just have to play with it. I play with mine all the time. Um, I find different things, different textures, different tastes that I really like. Um, and then it's taken me a while to figure out, I don't really like the slushy favorite flavor, but I do like it when I can just drink it really quickly, but it's still cold. Um, the other thing I was going to tell you too is obviously today I used all fresh fruits. Um, fresh fruits are going to be the best for you because obviously they have the highest concentrate of whatever the vitamin is that you're trying to get. But feel free to use frozen fruit. It's still fruit. It's just been frozen. Um, so you're more than welcome to do that. It's a lot easier to keep, I will admit. Um, and so, and then you're having to use less ice because it's already frozen. Um, so those are great to do. They keep really well. Um, I also suggest, I didn't do this, but a lot of times I do to keep my bananas, freeze your bananas. Um, not only is it better for the smoothie, it also makes them last a lot longer. Even if they're darker, if, you're, if they're in the freezer, they're totally fine. You can just throw them in your smoothie, um, even if they're brown. So that's all that I have today. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the smoothies. If you are a resident at Overture Arboretum, please feel free to come down to me in the den and grab a little sample of one of our smoothies. I'm happy to share with you, um, but I hope you enjoyed that. Grab your smoothies, get healthy. We're kickstarting um, our immune systems. We're kickstarting our bodies being healthy um, and getting back at it. So thank you for joining us and I hope you have a great rest of the week.